All right, it's like 7.30. We have a PM, we have a 12. Today's date is 12, 13, 23. We have a 2000 Z71 and it's a 5.7 liter, 99 body style. We finally finished all the fluids underneath. Uh, so this car had the oil change, transmission filter change and fluid, and the front axle change, fluid change, and the transfer case in the middle fluid change, and the rear axle, also called the differential uh, change. And so these are the details. To do the rear differential, it takes 13 millimeter or one half. Take the two of the top out, push in the back, pry this out, which is a struggle. And then when you get the gasket, make sure you get the one that doesn't protrude and is made of paper. You can use this one here, 742G303A. And that's like 32 or $37 and it's reusable. Put a little bit of RTVs near the bolts and then put it in. And then this is a three eighth drive right there. And you take that nut out and you pour in the new one until it drips out, pump it. And then for this one here, I use the GM um, bottle, which is like $30 a bottle. And that bottle looks like this right here. Synthetic Axle Lubricant 7590GL5 and the cut number is 88900401 so I'm assuming this thing has um, limited slip mm, let's see Limit, limited slip differential AC Delco Synthetic Axle Lubricant is a heavy duty extreme pressure GL Axle Lubricant withstands high temperature encounter during extended high speed operation and heavy towing retains excellent fluid and cold temperature so i don't know if it has um limited slip supplement but i did add this in there just in case eliminates noise and such as chatter groans and squeals reduces differential temperature extends clutch pack and extended life works on all mix and model this is like 8.99 from o'reilly's so that's like 30 dollars a bottle you need two of those back here like two point something actually and then then uh put that in there so let's actually get the amount that you're supposed to be in here so the transfer the rear axle it takes 2.1 quarts so if you get those two bottles there and this here is 0.4 ounces uh you might be missing a little bit but it's close <coughs> the front differential or axle is 1.75 so you take off that skid plate 15 millimeters you take the top one off first which is a 15 and then you take the bottom one which is a 13 and then you let it drain out probably do this like in a day or half a day just let it sit there and then you use this tool here to pump it in this tool here I end up just removing this to go straight to there and I just cut a bottle up and I just pumped it like that. So now let's talk about the transfer case. The transfer case is a little bit more trickier. These are 15 millimeters, but they have a nut on the top. So you need to use a flexible, which is the easiest, this flexible 18 millimeter right there. Use the 18 millimeter on the top to hold it to loosen and tighten and then you get that plate out and then you have your two nuts that's the top nut right there and the bottom nut is underneath this plate so make sure you take the top nut off first before you take the bottom one so you know you can actually fill that's uh 18 millimeter 18 millimeter down here and the fluid that comes out it looks kind of like bluish it's auto track 2 fluid auto track two and so it's supposed to be like two quarts of it but by three because 
that's just how it is. So they're like $11.99 a piece, so buy three of them. And tr adding the fluid of this particular model was really difficult. You see that gap there? We had to extend the, the, the rope on this. Um, we had to put that tool, this tool, that tool, this end, this goes into the fluid. This one goes all the way from the rear over here and into there. So it's definitely a two person deal. And then somebody reloads while you just hold it in there. And so the transfer case on this model, two people. And I imagine doing it on the ground with two people is rough. Then once you're done, it'll leak out, put the nut back and it's aluminum. And so you gotta tighten multiple times. I didn't over tighten it, so um, I just tighten into what I thought it is and I stop. So if it leaks, I'll come back here and tighten it. Uh, the transmission, might as well talk about that here. Make sure you, these are half inch and this is the front passenger side. Open these first, it'll come out. And then when you come back in um, or you come out, you gotta tilt this thing like this. Uh, you gotta tilt it uh, down this way and then this way that way when you're tilting it down to the passenger side all of this leaking it right here so make sure you have the pan ready on this side of the corner and then coming back in make sure you clean everything no rtv just gasket put some bolts and then it'll hold the gasket and you go up going up is a little bit tricky too you want to go in towards the driver's side first and then tilt up but you will be touching this area here and it's close and then uh i think that's we also changed uh motor oil we didn't deal with anything with any of these seals uh car has 2000 200 miles we're just going to use it like that and it's been doing good in life and uh there's oil leaks but uh, we're just gonna live with it and we have a cb boot there that's bad and what else can we say um pretty much it it has 200 miles it does have a new aftermarket cat, cat that is OEM, uh, or not OEM, but it meets California standards. And we have new O2 sensors in there. And what else? Um, this car was originally had a bad distributor and it threw out a whole bunch of random misfire code. So it was just the distributor, one of the bolts came off and just made that. So if you have that car, do that. Um, what else? Any other helpful tidbits? Oh, I did have a bad starter. Replace the starter. Turned out it wasn't a bad starter. It was just a bad connector, not on the passenger side, but on the driver's side. So wiggle your wires before you replace your starter. This one does have a lifetime warranty now from O'Reilly's. I put this one in and then the other starter I put in the ground, tested it and found out it had a loose wire. So um, don't make that mistake. Uh, anything else? Uh, we took this car to go to the ocean and boating and stuff, so the rusts are just eating it. It is a California car, uh, but we go snow and we go play boating, so probably a little bit more rust in your family, Tahoe, that's taking you to other places. Well, I just saw this thing broke. Uh, and, uh, what else? Other than that, this car is doing great. American cars are doing good for 200,000 plus miles. All right, thanks for watching.